everyone, it's Phyllis here from Yoga Ability, and we're here today to do a restorative yoga session. So a um, little bit about restorative. Restorative yoga is exactly what the name implies. It means to restore your body. And so on days when maybe you're not feeling well enough to exercise or even walk, um, or if maybe you've had a, a, a really hard workout and you need to rejuvenate your body, or maybe you've been having trouble sleeping, this is the perfect kind of yoga for you. Actually, it's one of my, if not my favorite, one of my favorite yogas to do. And so for today's practice, I'm gonna ask you to get a few things before you come to the mat or to your bed, because you can do restorative yoga in the bed. You can. Um, first of all, make your temperature comfortable. We're not going to be moving around a lot, um, so hopefully you won't be overheated. But you want to be comfortable and cozy, so you might want to dim the lights. Um, find a blanket. I have a couple of pillows here with me and a couple of towels, just regular bath towels that I have. Um, folded and so we'll be needing those for our poses today. So you can do this as I said from your bed or from the mat. I'm going to practice on the mat but everything that I'm doing today you can do from your from your bed. So so my first pose that we're going to start in, the first one that we have for you is called Velasana or Child's Pose. And if you did the 30 day challenge with us, you already know what that looks like. But this one is gonna be supported. So what I need you to do is start on the bed or on your mat, on your knees. And you're gonna need a pillow for this one, at least one pillow. So what I like to do is come onto hands and knees first, and then put my big toes together and then put, send my, my heels out to the sides of the mat or the sides of the bed. And then you're gonna move your knees to the sides of the mat so you have a nice V shape happening with your thighs. You're gonna move a pillow right between your legs and you're going to lay your chest right over the top of that pillow and just sink down into it. So some of you might have trouble putting your bottom all the way down to your heels and if that's the case you can take your towels or your blanket and roll it up because I want you to feel supported put it right under your bottom yeah and come forward now if one pillow isn't enough you can double up the pillow or you can put two pillows there whatever works for you whatever whatever you do to build your platform here I want you to feel supported we're gonna be in this position for a while, like three to four minutes. I'm not gonna do a lot of talking. When we come out of this, I'm going to ring a bell and give you directions on what to do next. So let's come forward and you can just rest your head on the pillow. While you're here, I want you to just focus on your breath you are going to have sounds and emotions and thoughts and ideas that come to your head. That's okay, that means you're human. But what I want you to do is not entertain those thoughts, not engage with the, those thoughts. I want you just to turn your attention instead into breathing in and breathing out.
without moving your body. Take a deep inhale in and exhale. Return your breath to a normal pace. On the next inhale, place both of the palms of your hands by the side of the pillow. And on the exhale, gently push into your hands, coming up into a seated hero position. So you're sitting back, your bum in between your heels. Okay, straight and tall. I'm gonna move the pillows to the side just for a moment as we get into our next position. If you have the blanket under your bottom, take that out. We're gonna to come to one hip or the other hip. So just slide on down gently to one hip and take your feet out in front of you. If you're on a mat, make sure you have enough room on your mat to lie down all the way onto your back. So we're gonna do this gently and easily, coming down one elbow at a time. One and two, and then roll that back all the way down so that you're laying down. We're gonna keep a bend in our knees and we're gonna take our feet about hip distance apart. Okay, so you're nice and stable here. You can put your hands down by your side. Um, make sure to grab onto a pillow, or two pillows, depending. Because what we're gonna do is a supported bridge. And so in bridge pose, typically, we push our bottoms up so we look like a ramp from our knees all the way down to our neck, but I don't want you to hold this position for three to four minutes. I want you to be supported in it. And so what you're going to do as you push into your feet, you're gonna slide a pillow under your bottom and then let your bottom sink down. If you need another one, you can do the same thing or put, put blankets under you so that you feel comfortable. But what I want is your, your backside lifted, yeah? Mm -hmm. Just like that. And then you can let your, your hands lay by your side, palms up. What I like to do is rest my knees together. So they're still hip distance apart, but I'm, I'm putting my knees so that they're touching. Usually we don't do this in, in regular bridge. But in supported bridge, I want you to feel supported as we do this. So once you get here, I want you to shrug your your shoulders up to your ears on the next inhale. And as you exhale, splay those shoulder blades down into the mat or the bed. And just feel really comfortable. You can close your eyes or soften your gaze. And again, turn your attention to your breath. Breathing in and breathing out.
without moving your body. Take a deep inhale in and exhale. Return your breath to a natural pace, the way you normally breathe. Maybe windshield, your wipe your knees back and forth, windshield wiper them back and forth, let them go side to side. And then when you're ready, push into your feet and take out all that you have stacked into your bottom. And then let your backbone just glide down to that mat, just releasing any energy. We're gonna come up the same way we came down. So lifting one elbow at a time, up to both elbows, and pushing in with the hands. Pushing in with our hands so that we're in a seated position. For the next, for the next position, we're gonna do a split forward fold, and again, we're gonna start seated, but we're gonna take our feet out to the sides of our body. We're gonna fold forward. So folding forward, we wanna be supported. We don't wanna just hang out here. So I need you to take your pillows, stack them up, however that best works for you. You might have to bend them in half like this. Maybe even do your, do your blanket so that you feel really comfortable, okay? Because you're gonna, those pillows are gonna sink down a little bit and that's okay. You're gonna rest your head right on top of those pillows, feeling a nice stretch throughout your lower back, maybe all the way to your mid back, maybe the backs of your thighs. You could just let your hands be palms up on your legs or by the sides of your legs, however it feels good to you. Or maybe you want to hold on to your, your pillows, whatever feels good, just so you're supported. Again, turn your attention to breathing in, matching your inhales to your exhales.
and exhale. Return your breath to a normal pace. Slowly move the palms of your hands to the sides of your legs and then easy, gently, maybe bring that chin to chest and as you inhale next, straighten that back, straighten the head. We're gonna move the blanket and the pillows off to the side once again. Make sure you have enough room on your bed or your mat so that your entire body is going to be covered because we're gonna go back to a laying position. So scooch to where you need to be, come down one elbow at a time. And we're gonna keep our knees bent again. So keep those knees bent, laying down. We're gonna take our arms out to the side now, palms up, make sure you're your shoulder blades nice and even, have even weight. If they don't, you can move them around until they do. Our feet are gonna be hip distance apart, but they're going to be bent. And now we're going to let our knees fall to our right side as our gaze goes to the left. Does not matter where your knees fall out, but you need to keep your shoulders, the backs of your shoulder blades, flat on the mat. Now, usually this is really good and that's a great stretch to be in, but my knees don't come all the way down to the floor, so I need some support. So I'm gonna put the pillow over by the side so that my knees can relax into them. Some people like to put the pillow between their legs. Some people like to even put the pillow on top for a, a deeper stretch. You put the pillows wherever you need to go, and if you don't need pillows at all, enjoy this pose. In just a few minutes, I'm gonna ask you to come to the other side. So relax your eyes again, or close your eyes. Deeply inhale. Deeply exhale. Focus on your breath. right back to center and as you exhale you're going to let your knees fall to the left as your gaze goes to the right you need to move the pillow switch the pillow on the other side return your attention to your breath
without moving your body. Take a deep inhale in and exhale. Turn your breath to a normal pace. On the next inhale, bring your head and your knees back to center. And just like we came down, we're gonna come back up, pushing one elbow at a time into the mat or the bed, coming right back up to seated. For our next position, we're gonna be on our backs again, laying down on the bed or the mat, but I want a pillow behind your back and your neck. So make sure your pillow's long enough. If you don't have a pillow that's long enough to support your head, you might wanna put stack one pillow in front of the other so, so that both your head and your back are supported, okay? So I'm, I'm pushing this pillow right up to right by my bottom. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna come back down one elbow at a time, all the way down so that my back and my head are supported. Now the tips of my shoulders are kind of rounded around the, the pillow itself, which is wonderful because it feels like it's pushing my chest forward and it's an awesome stretch. So what we're gonna do with our feet now is to put the soles of our feet together and move those heels as close as you can to your body. It's here where we're gonna use the the towels. So I like to roll a towel and let my knees fall down, but I, I use the towels to support them. So this position is called Supta Baddha Konasana, or reclined butterfly. Your, your legs are making a butterfly position. So you can put your palms in the creases of your hips, maybe just adding a little bit more weight to your legs or you can turn them palms up by your side or lay them on your belly, whatever feels good to you. Soften your gaze or close your eyes. And again, turn your attention to your breath.
moving your body, take a deep inhale in and exhale. Return your breath to a normal pace. Where you normally breathe. So from here, we're not going to do too much because we're going to go into our last pose, which is called Shavasana. It's the pose of utter relaxation. And if you want to, you can keep your legs exactly where they are, or you can move your legs down the mat. I like to support my legs in supported Shavasana, um, either under my knees or having my feet raised. And so if I have a little swelling, which is not uncommon with me, if I have a little swelling at the end of the day, I like to put um, my feet up, or you can put a, a pillow under knees, whatever works for you. So as long as you feel supported in this pose. If you want to roll a towel and put it under your neck, you can do that. We're going to lay flat on our backs. So I have to come down again, one elbow at a time, laying all the way down. So find a position that works for you on your back. <clears throat> and just let your feet fall out to the sides. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you're on the, the back side of your lower back or your sacrum equally. So if you need to shift around or move bum flesh around, you know, grab you onto your bum and shift it around, do that. You do the same thing with the top of your back. So sh on the inhale, sh scrunch those shoulders toward your ears. As you exhale, splay those shoulder blades out and flat on the bed or the mat. And then turn your palms up. Keep your arms close by you, palms up. Now, if you want to, you can cover yourself with a blanket as well. Have someone cover you with a blanket so you're, you feel like snug in a bug, like snug as a bed, in, like snug as a bug in a bed, yeah? <laughs> uh, sometimes I crack myself up because my mouth doesn't do what my brain is telling it to. So I have a good time in yoga. <sighs> So everybody, last one. Take a deep inhale in through your nose. Exhale. Mm -hmm. and make those inhales and exhales nice and long. Try to match them together as you release every single muscle group from the bottoms of your feet all the way to the top of your head might take you a few moments, but it's so worth it to let all of that muscle energy just release into the back of your body and then seep into the pillows or the mat or the bed. Just let it all go, softening everything, breathing.
without moving your body, take a deep inhale in and exhale. Turning your breath to a normal pace. Maybe start to bring in some little movements into your body, wiggling fingers, toes, Maybe touching all your fingers to the palms of your hands, Maybe spreading your toes wide and then curling them. Maybe shaking your head side to side. Let's move those bolsters or pillows or blankets away from under your feet and your knees. And the next inhale, reach your hands above your head and feel as if somebody's pulling you, tugging you at your wrists and tugging you at your ankles, stretching you as, as tall as you can be. And as you exhale, let's grab onto your knees and roll to one side in this nice fetal position, supporting your head with your arm, or maybe you wanna put a pillow there. Just resting here for a few breaths. As we wake up our bodies, on the next inhale, Take your top hand and plant that hand right in front of your chest. And as you exhale, push into that hand, coming into a nice, easy seated position on your bed or on your mat. You can bend your legs or keep them straight in front of you. You can do half lotus or full lotus if that feels good to your body. I like to just stack my legs. Bring your hands to your knees, palms up or palms down. And your gaze can be soft or you can keep your eyes closed. Swing up nice and straight and tall. And just let's take a moment here of gratitude. Gratitude for yourself for trying something new today, something good for you, something to heal your body heal your soul. Sometimes just taking that little bit of time out every day and it's not a lot of time. You have 24 hours in a day. So taking that little bit of time for you, it's less than 5% of your day. Really helps fill your cup so that you can take care of everybody else so that you can pour from that cup. So take a moment here and thank yourself for doing something good for your mind, your spirit and your body. On the next inhale, reach your hands up, way up, reach and stretch as if you're reaching for the heavens. And as you exhale, put your hands to heart center. Beautiful. I wanna thank each and every one of you for being here with me today and, and, and doing this restorative yoga practice and yoga ability. The light inside of me recognizes and honors the light inside of each and every one of you. Namaste.